Hello, dear friends. My name is Dr. Igor Kabekov, and uh, I'm a clinical oncologist practicing since 2010. Today we are uh, discussing and continuing to discuss the topic of, uh, I would say, alternative or adjunctive approaches to cancer treatment, what the patients can do to uh, improve the effectiveness of their treatment or uh, like for natural treatment for cancer starvation. Uh, how can we influence cancer, not besides of using the traditional treatments like surgery or radiation therapy or chemotherapy. These are several videos in series in playlist. Uh, if you want to see the full playlist, please uh, watch the description under this video. If you didn't see the first video, please watch it, otherwise you won't understand anything. You cannot systemize your knowledge and understanding. And uh, this is the general plan of our video. Uh, we were talking about is the cancer mitochondrial disease, uh, does cancer like sugar, What's, what are the problems with our cancer theory or, or mutational theory uh, that is uh, highly acceptable all over the world among oncologists. And we will talk about possible causes of cancer starvation. We talked about keto diet, we talked about C the PET CT scan and uh, um, how the tumors that love sugar will accumulate uh, the marked glucose and it will be shining on the x-ray. Some people write to me that, okay, uh, we heard a lot of uh, stories that a uh, person is on keto diet, keto diet, but it didn't help him or he did that starvation, he's still dead, it didn't help. Um, of course, this is one of the methods. A uh, tumor is... Uh, ancient, it's very good in surviving, and it can find other ways to survive. We cannot uh, use only one thing to uh, kill the tumor, because not. We need to do the complex approach to influence it from different as aspects. And that's why there is a press-pulse theory. What is that? Uh, we know that uh, glucose, that uh, tumors are mostly dependent on two sources of fuel, glucose and uh, glutamine. In this theory, in this approach to tumors, we need to make a chronic stress for tumor. How? We start the tumor, we don't give it fuel. And then, uh, this is called press, always pressing on tumor. And then we need to do pulses, attacks, short attacks, attack, attack, attack. The tumor under stress is more vulnerable to these attacks. And then we do some stresses to this tumor with maybe with some poisonous things, with oxidative stress, and um, the tumor may lose this war. Okay, what about those tumors that are not very dependent on sugar? Uh, second kill is glutamine, we talked about it. Glutamine is the a non-essential amino acid, meaning our body can synthesize it, produce it. Uh, the problem is uh, we cannot totally starve the body from glutamine just with diet, because again, the body produces it. If we talk about um, starving with sugar, body will produce uh, glucose also, but uh, the amount will, will be very low, and um, as low uh, that uh, the body won't have enough uh, glucose for surviving, and it will need to produce the ketone bodies to survive. Ketone bodies are not a fuel for for the tumor, because tumor is dependent on fermentation. But the problem is glutamine is not so easy to cut down with diet, because many products have glutamine, and uh, glutamine will be produced uh, in high uh, amounts. Glutamine can be used for synthesis of new DNA that is very needed for any growing cells. Um, and the tumor is a very grown cell, to divide and grow it needs more DNA. And also it can be used for energy production, for tumor survival. But there are some drugs blocking this glutamine. The problem with these drugs is they are not registered for just buying them or prescribing them. These are the drugs for clinical trials. For example, there is a great article, review article on this drug that uh, this C six diazo five oxo L norleucine, ah, very difficult to pronounce. Um, shortly done. The thing is, it was 
investigated since 1950s and uh, it uh, was in phase one and two clinical trials and uh, they stopped it and abandoned it because of toxicity. It causes nausea, vomiting, a drop of uh, blood cells. Why? Because glutamine is very needed for rapidly dividing cells, not only tumor, but also, for example, GI tract cells. That's why it can cause uh, mucositis, stomatitis. I talked uh, not far ago about uh, stomatitis, how to treat it uh, in chemotherapy patients. Uh, these are ulcers in uh, mucosa, stomatitis, mucosa of uh, mouth, mucositis, mucosa of anywhere in GI tract. And, of course, a very severe diarrhea and nausea and vomiting. What is good about it, uh, that um, if you give it in small doses, and um, always, permanently, uh, not once in a week or twice in a week, but high doses. Just small doses, but every day. Uh, it will uh, cause less toxicity. And it will give uh, quite a good anti-cancer effect. Afterwards, there were other investigations unfortunately they did not show very good results uh, only when used together with chemotherapy in uh, kids with leukemia it showed that really it can improve the rate of remissions and what is the problem here as for me because they used it just just it and that's it as a single agent and we know that we need to act on tumor from different sides uh, we need to uh, do the chronic stress for tumor that's why uh, we need to starve it and then use these pulses. Not just one single thing. It won't work against you, but it's very good in surviving. That's the problem of clinical data that we have nowadays. Now they produce pro-drugs that are inactive, that are in injected into human body, and then they will be activated and uh, it will cause less toxicity. For example, they make pro-drug for neural tumors that will go to brain first and activate there. It will minimize toxicity for guts, for example, or other type of product that will go to other sites if the tumor is on the other side. That's why the science is moving on. The other type of questions I get in comments. How do I know that the tumor is uh, glutamine dependent, not sugar dependent? First of all, I told uh, you in the previous video, it's PET scan with glucose. Uh, we have other methods. For example, we know that uh, there is a PET scan with glutamine. The tumor that is dependent on glutamine will absorb glutamine, uh, the marked glutamine, and will be shining on CT. Also, there is a MRI uh, spectroscopy. Um, it will investigate the tumor surrounding, the chemical contents, but it's more for investigations. Uh, and uh, also, when we do biopsies, we check the genetic mutations in the tumors and often the tumors that have MIC mutation, KRAS mutation, often in, uh, for example, pancreatic tumors or in uh, colorectal tumors, gut tumors. In P53, for example, DHL genes, mTOR, uh, this can be associated with uh, glutamine uh, metabolism. So again, what is the conclusion that uh, their potential drugs for glutamine blockage should be given perhaps constantly in daily basis but in uh, lower doses to decrease the toxicity and improve their effectiveness. But what should we do? There are no drugs for now. Well, I could not really find anything that could help very much uh, with glutamine. Only found something like theanine is an ingredient of green tea, is uh, good in opposing glutamine. But again, we are not sure on clinical trials. By the way, uh, green tea is, uh, has some anti-tumor activity and it was um, good in prevention of uh, prosthetic cancer. Uh, but when they used it uh, against different cancers uh, in patients who have it, uh, who have cancers, um, it did not really help very much. Again, why? Uh, I guess because they used only single agent they should have used complex approach. For example, with keto diet. We would see, would it be effective or not? I hope uh, these clinical trials will be going on in the future. Good news, the science is uh, working and actively on uh, learning, on studying this metabolic approach, 
for example, this article on uh, acute myeloid leukemia and glutamine can is important not only for solid tumors, but sarcomas, cancers, but also for lymphomas and leukemias. And uh, they investigate a lot of different drugs that can really affect the uh, glutamine metabolism. You can see different names, different uh, CB839, for example. This is a drug un under investigation. And uh, if it shows uh, good results, it will be registered as a drug and it will get some beautiful name. I'm sure very beautiful. And you can see a lot of different article studies. What do you think if uh, what, I, uh, what I'm telling you is uh, some nonsense? It will attract so much attention among, among the scientists, among the drug companies that are trying to find some remedy. I don't think so. By the way, I also want to tell you about a very interesting uh, investigation. Uh, we all remember that um, our common theory for cancer is mutation. Mutation is in genes makes the cancer grow, uh, it makes it um, uncontrollable, and uh, mutation is the reason of cancer. Okay, where are the genes located? Of course, they're located in the nucleus of the cell. Look, this is a nucleus of the cell, this is mitochondria, this is a membrane, normal cell, normal nucleus, normal genes, and it gives two normal cells. Tumor cell has defective genes, mutations there, and it gives tumor cells. What if we take tumor genes, mutations, we take the nucleus of the tumor cell and put it into normal cell? Will it give us tumor? Will this uh, cell transform into tumor? No, it doesn't. It produces normal cells. Yes, there are some mutations there that uh, are transferred to the daughter cells, but it's still normal cell. These genes won't be active, but if we take their normal nucleus, normal genes, and put it into the tumor cells with possibly dysfunctional mitochondria, we will get two tumor cells. That is very interesting, right? And one more thing I want to tell you, that it's not all our problems. Because the tumor, when we starve it, may get the material from surrounding tissues, from surrounding cells, from some bulk around these tumor cells. And this is cannibalism. And our immune cells, our macrophages, may help the tumor. The tumor uses our immune cells to help it to survive. That is the problem. But other good things? That we have more ways to influence tumor. Not only keto diet. Not only trying to block glutamine with uh, green tea. And let's talk about it in the next Video. I hope it was interesting for you. If you want to support channel, please see the description below this video. I wish you good luck. God bless you. Goodbye. Don't be afraid, doctor.